three stores? Three stores for ice? For not for ice, for salt. Oh, salt. For outside. I went to 7-Eleven. Normally they got some, but they were all out. I had to go all the way to Walmart for it. Which that always sucks to have to go to. The Walmart. The Walmart. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Ken almost slipped on the sidewalk. Oh yeah. It was crazy, bro. Was I caught myself before, like I hit the ground, and my hands were in my pocket. Well, why is your hand in your pocket? <laughs> no, my jacket pocket. Because his hands were cold. <laughs> So you don't use your while you're walking and, you it's, and it's icy outside. Yeah, keep your hands in your pocket so when you fall, you fall on your face. Well, that's before I knew it was black ice. I mean, it's not like you can just see it. That's why they call it black ice. Like I was I waiting for that. So what color is ice, Ken? <laughs> yeah, Ken. I'm thinking it's pretty clear. Yeah, I'm thinking it's clear. It's clear as the color. But it can be white, though. I mean, how does it get black then? What are you, Blee? It is white because you look at snow and snowflakes are ice. Yeah. Explain that, Ken. Why is ice multiple colors? I don't know. To down, to all the way around, to put down what these people are doing. That's all I'm trying to say. Is like, I'm not saying to be done with anybody. But for real, they did that. They should get a raise, but they shouldn't require a certain amount. Why is that only absurd to you, bro? It's only absurd to you, though. That's your personal opinion. Your personal. Opinion. Why you gotta say it like that? that? Oh, we heard you. Because, we heard you oh, 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 God because damn. he's trying to just stick it into me that these people are acting. Whoa! Oh, hey. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> not that. Not that way. <laughs> but you didn't even say Uncut that. entertainment. <laughs>18 minus like 620 627 if I had to put an exact time on it Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Mondo, we here Pretty fancy Britain sailor you uh Moved up in the world, player. What's going on, brother? Good to have you here. Right on, my man. Yes, sir. I've seen other cyphers in Colorado, but I feel like, you know, no offense to the other cyphers, but I feel like there might be a lack of talent in some of those. But with your guys, it's like you guys always have some really talented artists. Yes. Who are you talking up? You know what I'm saying? Talk of spices. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, P, obviously, Old Newsy, Trev Rich, Lele, uh, Jacob Campbell. J Triple D and H Crosser, like I could keep going. There's so many yeah. like well known artists. Yeah, no, no. Man, it's just like it's legendary, you know what I'm saying? So what was kind of the process behind doing something different with your cipher that actually stood out and and you know didn't really compare to other cyphers that have been done in Colorado? And I mean I think us being new to the space helped us a lot not be like a manipulated by the inside politics of it to where mm -hmm. we just expect people to come in and work for us right. and right. also ask and expect people to help move and push the cypher to understand that this is a collective a bunch of people trying to get made yeah. a lot of times you know putting these cyphers together is also hard because there have been people who just cut as well and I think that right. you know I think that helps people 
step it up to know that that's an option that you can be prepared because a lot of people feel just free of expecting mm. to be on something just because someone told you about well, something. But yeah. What were like some of the original ideas behind, okay, I'm going to go out of state and I'm going to prepare for this? Well, I feel like in order to get attention from the outside, we got to like go outside and that's just the, the basic method behind it. It's like, yeah. for example, this Phoenix Cypher, you know, when we drop that, we get the Phoenix uh, fan base and our fan base to tap into, you know, our page and notice a needy, mm-hmm. right? But also the next time that we move and we drop our next cipher in Miami or wherever we go to our next one, um, we get all the Phoenix people checking out what the Phoenix, what the Miami people mm-hmm. did, and just it just becomes this like snowball effect. If that's what we're hoping, I don't care. My bad. I think the competition of it helps to bring out the best in people too, and. Yeah. It feels real good, man, when we go to a whole other city and people don't know people rap in Denver mm. or make music in general from Denver and we show up with artists who are there to work. Right. Yeah, I feel you on the competition. Um, you know, obviously, I've dropped a couple of lyrics. Yeah. And you know, like you said, they don't necessarily agree with it, but um, I feel like it's a, it's a lot of networking, a lot of marketing done from that, you know, for people to tap in out of state. But not only that, it gets people excited in state for, you know, what's going on in Denver, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of um, even just Colorado people who really sleep on, on their own state's like hip-hop scene, you know what 100%. I'm saying? Yeah. But the lists and the ciphers and the competitions and stuff like that, I feel like it gives people a reason to be like entertained and also just, okay, tune in. Like, oh, who's this? <laughs> but I feel, I feel like um, it just brings the best out of people, even people who don't necessarily make the list, and it'll probably motivate them. Like I said, it, at the end of the day, everybody likes that. As much as they want to act like they don't, they yeah. love it. As soon as it comes out there, immediately like, what? And where am I? At? You know what I'm saying? Like, so that that's how you know people be tapping about that, man. They all love it. Yeah. Everybody loves that. <laughs> <laughs> how you feel? The interview went. Money got still getting some stuff off your chest. I don't know. I have to just keep talking. <laughs> You didn't know that that was a talking point at all? No, it wasn't in the picture. No, it was. Yeah, it was. was it? Oh, yeah, it is. For real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> yes, it was. Mondo got hit off guard with the line of questions that he did not look at the itinerary oh, yeah, yeah. about. <laughs> they were just, <laughs> they told that was it. That's a, that yeah. yeah, it was a dope ass interview. Yeah. Britton yeah. Sailor, man, yeah. shout out to you for doing your thing, man, down here at My House Sports. Shout out to my high sports as well for having us out doing it, man. We appreciate y'all, man, for sure. Networking, Colorado, show love, man. Barbershop on cut. <laughs> you thought it would be dark, man? It's summertime. Can I just see your? You know the worst part about being a school play athlete? What's that? No, they like you. They love you because you're sweet. <laughs> they like sweet stuff, is what I heard, Mondo. Oh, Mondo. What's up, Barbara? Oh, Come on, man. You can see. Guess you have the wrong you want time, a drink? Well, I'll take a shot. You can see. Guess you have the wrong time. I didn't even get nothing. <laughs> what, you digging in your nose? No, I was about to say something about somebody, man. It's, it's, it's not the right time, bro. I told you, don't be. <laughs> Prince, he's dead, man. Leave him alone. You still listen to R. Kelly, don't you? That's what you're going to talk about. Robert. I do, too. I'm sorry. That's that's a hard one to shake, man. That's a hard one to shake right there. Bro, R. Kelly, man. Uncut Entertainment. <laughs>